Hi, I'm Sandra. In this video, I want to go into more detail about an enum that includes having a constructor, an instance variable, and a method, and also something that looks a little bit odd called a constant specific class body. What I have typed up already here, I have done in a previous video, so I will link to that on the screen if you want to look at that first. But if you've seen that already, you can just skip ahead here. So my enum. Firstly, what I'm going to add is a kind of, it can have a member variable. So what I want to do is I'm going to say, add in a volume. So if it's a small cup, the volume is 25 milliliters. If it's a medium cup, the volume will be 40 milliliters. And if it is a large cup, the volume will be 110 milliliters. Now, what that code is doing, first of all, it's looking for a constructor that takes in that value so it can assign it to its own internal member variable. So I have to, I have to type up, include the member variable, and I have to type in the constructor as well. Now, so firstly, to add in volume. So firstly, you have to put in a semicolon here at the end of the values if there's anything else following. If you don't find anything else like before, that semicolon there is optional. Now, I want this to be a member variable, so by right, that should be private. A constructor is going to take that in. So a constructor, same name as the class. And what it's taking in here is an int for volume. And what it will do is it will take the member variable and it will assign to it the oops, amount of value, sorry, the volume. It will assign to it the value there that it receives, sorry, it will assign to it the value that it receives automatically from when you pick one of the values. So what I mean there is when you say, when you use cup size, you're going to have cup size dot small, cup size dot medium. Internally, behind the scenes, it will say, right, you want a small cup size, I'm going to assign 25 to the volume. So that will happen automatically. You cannot call this constructor explicitly. It will be called behind the scenes. So what I can add here, in here as well is a public. I'm going to return that volume called get volume. So I can inquire to see what the volume for a cup size would be, and it would return the member variable. Just like constructors in a regular class, you can, it can take in more parameter, an extra parameter, for instance, but then you would have to add in an extra value there in the round brackets after the value for your enum. Now I'm going to pop in a public here, just to show you that. The constructor, it can't be public because it's not actually visible outside of the enum. It's only used internally and called automatically. So you can't explicitly call the constructor for that cup size for that enum. Now, to make use of this new uh, get volume and volume uh, member variable that I've added in. So down in main, I have used coffee here a couple of times. I've created a coffee instance, one with a cup size is small. And I've created a coffee instance, one with a cup size of large. So on this down here, I do print out. So I want to see what the volume is for this one. So print out our volume is, and then I can concatenate on. So it's my instance variable for this one, which is coffee one dot. I have to get to the member variable now, which is cup size. I can't access that directly because you see that it's private. So I to access the cup size, I need to go through that get cup size method to get that. And now after that, do a dot. I'm sorry, I call the set method instead there. Apologies. Dot get cup size. And now dot get volume. So I will run that just to see that printed out. So there we have the volume of that. That's the small one there. The volume of the small cup size there is 25. I could also add it into the, the two string that I have in the, um, in the coffee class. I could add it into the two string here as well. So add on here um, a new line and the volume. 
And how do I get that volume there again? So now I'm inside the class, I have direct access to the cup size enum, and on that I can call get volume. So that will include it, and apologies, I keep spelling volume wrong. That will include it anytime I call the two string. So I have called the two string twice down here below, copy one and copy two, implicitly the two string gets called. So if I just run my program again, I have the volume there included after each one of those. The last thing that I want to explain is what looks like an anonymous inner class, and it's called a constant specific class body. What I'm going to do for this, I'm going to add in an extra method here. It's going to return a string and just call get detail. Use the blue cup. So I have here. A method called get detail or get details if that makes it better <laughs> returns a string and it's going to be called use the blue cup so right now that applies to all of my small medium and large cups if i call get detail it's going to have use the blue cup but i don't want this to apply for my small cup the small cup is clear it's not blue the medium large ones are blue but i don't want it to use this method for the small cup so what I can do is I need to override that method, but only for the small cup. Now the way that's done here is after small, I put in an opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. And I repeat that method inside the curly brackets and then I replace whatever I want or change whatever I want. So to make life easier, I'm gonna copy that. So this is known as overriding. So same uh, access modifier, same return type, same name, but the body is going to be different. And I'm going to say use the clear glass cup. That's known as a constant specific glass body. So these small, medium and large are like constants. And if I ask for the details for the small cup, it will execute this code that's overridden and replaces the method that's underneath and the method below get details that will only apply for the medium and the large cup. Now to test that out. And for the first one there, it's going to be uh, cup.getDetails because that's I've just used uh, the cup the enum as it is, it's not embedded inside the coffee class. For the second two, it's a little bit trickier, so print out. This reference is called coffee one. I have to get the cup size, so that'll get me the enum, and on that, get details. And finally, the last one, so just to repeat, just spotted a mistake there, it should be system out. And for the last one again, it's the reference variable coffee two on that get the cup size which is the enum and on that get details and execute that yeah so the first one value of the cup medium let's use the blue cup the small use the clear glass cup and the last one large use the blue cup so that is known as a constant specific class body basically the small cup it has its own definition of the get details method. So it's overriding the one below. So anything that doesn't override the one up here, the medium and large, it will use the get details method that's embedded there below. And that is an enum with a constructor, which is called internally. And what's passed to it are the values that are in the round brackets. You can't call the constructor outside of the enum. It's called internally with the, the the methods or the values that are inside the round brackets. Uh, can, an enum can have its own methods like get volume, get details, and that one, the get details, applies only to the medium and large values because the small value has overridden it using that constant specific class body, which looks like an inner class if you've, if you've studied those already. And that is it.